Hey everybody. You know what we're looking at again over here. Bad RAM. Running Memtest. So, this is an old computer that uh, came in. Customer says it was freezing, running slow. Not a really good detail of what was going on with it. You know, because that's so generalized. So, took a look at it. When we, when I started working on it, it was, yeah, a little laggy, but, I mean, nothing out of this world. It had some malware, or it had some viruses uh, that Kapersky had spotted and was waiting for a cleanup. So, uh, ran that. And after that, everything went haywire. The next reboot through a blue screen... And it was just uh, having all kinds of, of issues. So I got it to boot up to, uh, to the desktop. And then we decided to just go with Windows 7 since the operating system was just really not stable. It's an old computer. So let's just go to Windows 10. So the computer was, I mean, running, did the upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, then after some updates, well, first of all, recommended just get rid of this thing and start fresh, but customer needs that parallel port there. He has an old parallel printer that he uses in the business. So then that kind of made us kind of stay stuck with this old computer, but recommended let's just go to up to Windows 10. That's going to give us a fresh OS and did that. And the computer works. I mean, the upgrade it did, um, but every you know, so often it would do an update or just out of the blue, blue screen and just give different. When you see blue screens that don't give you the same uh, error code or error message. I mean, I've been working on this a long time. I should have checked these RAM a long time ago. So it was just, you know, consistently doing it till I said, let's just run this, this uh, mem test, you know, should have done it a long time ago. So. Yeah, it's got some bad memory. That's why it'll run, do updates, browse the web, do all kinds of things for 30 minutes, an hour, and then out of the blue, whack. Now, the problem there is we got four, uh, four slots. So we're going to have to run them individually. So the point of this, when you're, point of this video here, when you're getting arbitrary errors... Uh, you know, well, blue screens in general, you know, might not be a bad idea. Just flat out get that RAM test and get that out of the way. Um, but especially if you're getting blue screen and you're getting arbitrary, you know, different error messages all the time. Just slap that MEM test on there. I know it takes a long time. <laughs> That's probably why I was hesitating to it. Thing is, it had so many other issues. It had malware and uh, I ran SFC. SFC had errors, so there was just so many different errors that it was like, well, you know, it's an OS problem. It had, um, you know, the Kapersky stuff. So I had so many other stuff, and everything was kind of clearing up. But then now at the end, it's it's pretty cleared up. Doing updates, and out of the blue, we're still getting this stuff. So don't forget to check your RAM. That's what's going on tonight at PC911.